your way down. Without the music, just give God a shout if you know that God is real. Well, come on, if you know that God is real, if you know that God will do exceedingly and abundantly above all, you can ask or think according to the power that worketh in you. You ought to give God a praise today. Oh, come on, you ought to give God a praise today. Some said, oh, magnify the Lord with me. And let us exalt his name together. For he's worthy to be praised. Oh, come on, tell your neighbor, I got something to praise him for. Come on, tell your neighbor, I know it's hot in here, but I got something to praise him for. Tell him I ain't got time to give you my testimony. But believe me, you're standing next to a miracle. Hallelujah. God, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh my God, hallelujah. Oh, come on, just touch three people and say, You don't know my real testimony. You don't know my real testimony. You don't know my real testimony. I ain't got time to tell you my real testimony. But trust me when I tell you, you're looking at a miracle. You're looking at a breakthrough. You're looking at somebody that God has done a miracle for. i 
for to sit down. I ain't gonna be able to teach today. Lord have mercy, Jesus. Lord have mercy, Jesus. My God. Jesus. Oh, y'all, we got to write the praise of Because we done seen the doctor's report. We done seen Tisha's report. We done seen what the doctor said that you're supposed to have. And everything they said she should be having in her last days, she don't have. Oh, I know what God is doing. Oh, we got to write to praise God. 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 We got a right to praise God. We got a right to praise God. Because having done all the stand, we stood anyhow. We got a right to praise God because we are the intercessor. We got a right to praise God. Somebody magnify him. You supposed to be her bodyguard. You the one time you ain't gonna let her shout that much, and you out shouting Tisha. Tisha's all over the place, and you just jumping. I started feeling all kinds of things that's going on in my body. And then later on, I laid in the bed for five days. And I just got felt the numbness from my brain all the way down to my leg. And I had got a stroke. And I didn't even know. And then after a while, I kept going. I kept praising him. I kept giving him glory. I kept serving him. I stayed faithful. I kept praying. I kept doing the will of God. Oh my God, and he graced me when I went to the hospital. Oh my God, on the 19th, they told me that I had ammonia in both my lungs. Hallelujah, Jesus. But the Lord said, by your stripes, you are healed. Oh my God. And then I went, I was laying in the bed, and I felt so sick, and my head hurted so bad, and my brain was hurting. I said, Kim, run my brain. My brain, my brain, my brain, my brain. Oh, Jesus. And my brain, God, it was hurting so bad. And then uh, two minutes later, uh, I had another stroke. Under the little CK, he called a little Shanda. Under the little Kusande. Oh, my God. And then I went upstairs. I went upstairs. I didn't even know until two days ago uh, that I was in the ICU. Uh, I didn't even know uh, God flowed me through the hospital so fast. Uh, I didn't even know I was in the ICU. Uh, I was the most healthy running around. Uh, I preached the gospel. Uh, I set the captives free. Uh, oh, I gave salvation to those uh, that needed to be saved. Uh, those that died, uh, they knew Jesus. Uh, and those that stayed, uh, they got healed. Uh, hallelujah! 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 Yes, God. I listened to the prayer Tuesday 
morning. I wasn't feeling good still. Providence came, I tried to front. I didn't want her to walk with me. Cause I had, I was hilarious the whole time. I made everybody laugh, every doctor, everybody. And I said, I want to see you slide me, slide my feet. So I walked to the, walked to there and got back in the bed. Then Tuesday morning prayer came. And God said, he is stepping, hallelujah, in the problem. And he's stepping in the answer. Ah, so tall, blah, 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 shout out. He come out, and I have the victory, because huh? he did it. Incline, huh? Woo, Jesus, and left the oppression. I know that you shut up. Woo, Jesus. Woo, my God. That right there. When she said that part, I started jumping and shouting. I said, oh, all right. Woo. Woo. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And then as the day go by, I was just getting better. And then it really blessed me. It was a lady. I said, God. What are you taking to me now? I just knew I was on a mission now. I said, okay, who I got to do? I said, God, I'm tired. I'm in the hospital. And, you know, give me some rest. He said, death. So I had to pass by a death pastor boy. I had to pass by somebody that I knew was not going to make it. I had to pass right by her. So God gave me strength to pray for her. And God gave me strength to give her water, feed her, give her some love. Because her family gave her too much love. Too much love to the point where she couldn't take it no more. And then her eyes closed. But all along, through the whole, through the whole visit, I played peace. It went, oh my God, we had so many visitors. <laughs> peace. This peace. And then as we did that, what happened was, oh God, thank you, Jesus. They came in, and all of a sudden, they start praying. Loud. No, no. Praying over their family and over the lady. And then they start saying, forgive me, forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. Everybody like, forgive me, forgive me. Forgive me, forgive me. Forgive me, forgive me. Then they come out the hallway. They looking for me. They say, thank you. Woo. Thank you. Woo. Oh, yeah, my God. Shut up. Oh, my God. All I can say, Believe in the Lord. Believe in the Lord. Oh, he's faithful to his word. Woo! Woo! Let me tell you something. I'm just going to bust it up. She rebuked me upstairs. But let me say something. You are an intercessor. And I thank God for your life. We need people that stand in the gap. Hallelujah. She laid her life down. She sacrificed her life. She sacrificed everything she had. Oh, God. Woo. Stay on the brave of altar. Do what the woman of God said. But let me tell you, she's just not a prophet. But she's a woman of God. She's a woman of God. She's a woman of God. Oh, God. And I love you, Apostle. I thank you for the faith. Because every time I thought about the stroke, I just kept lifting my hand like this. I said, Pastor Boy, ah, because I know he's able. I guess he had to do it a little quicker for me. I know I got to get back to prayer. Hallelujah. I love you. You don't know the times that she was right up here interceding and praying for me with sores all in her mouth and down her throat. You don't know the days that she was in here interceding and doing her job and hemorrhaging at the same time. Oh, y'all don't know. But never stop praising God. Never complain. Never stop giving God the glory. Oh, come on, somebody. When she got to the hospital, she said, Prophetess, I had the sores all in my mouth, all down my throat. By the time I got there, she went in, what, Friday? By the time I got there on Sunday, oh, 
the source was gone completely healed but you don't know you don't know so why is God doing this because he's doing this today he brought her in here today because you know what that was a week ago that was on the 19th which means what I keep telling you is that when you come into this prayer whatever it is you're praying for God said a quick work or it ain't gonna be no long time God said if you can grab a hope to faith what he's done for her he'll do it for your loved one Just grab a hold of some faith right quick and just begin to think about the person you've been praying for because I'm telling you ain't nothing too hard for God I said ain't nothing too hard for God he can do the impossible you want to stop giving God a praise for your loved one right now religious people that have been in the church all their life and can't trust God. See, God saved Tisha off the streets as a crack addict. Oh, y'all don't understand. Honey, Tisha used to be living behind garbage cans and, and eating out of garbage cans. You don't understand. I'm, listen, we're looking at a miracle right here. We're looking at somebody that God saved from prostitution and a crack addict and gave them the power in their spirit to trust God. I said, he can do anything but fail. He can do anything but fail. He can do anything but fail. We did a financial seminar here at the church and brother Hank Carter came in that night to teach the, the, the seminar with the bank and he walked in and this is an executive of a bank. He ran back out the door and he said go and get John. And we went and got Elder Boy. He said I think I just saw a miracle. And John said well what are you talking about? He says that girl up there named Tisha. He said, yeah. He said, that girl used to be laying behind the garbage can, behind the garbage can of the bank, just laying there in the streets, completely trashed behind the garbage can sleep. That girl used to be up and down the street begging people for money to get crack. He said, that can't be the same girl. And now the boy said, yes it is because God is a savior. talking about a deliverance from crack cocaine and didn't have to go to a rehab and then see I got a whole nother level of testimony to shout about because you look at that my sister right here that's been on crack for 15 years and God saved her living in the streets in the garbage that's my sister that we stood on the throne of God and prayed for her. now she lived walking for my ministry been clean for three years never went to the rehab it was God that did it just built a house from the ground and now she's traveling and evangelizing why because God can do anything he can do anything but faith a miracle when I hear them upstairs in the room praising God when we brought Tisha home from the hospital the Lord told me he said call Kathy to come down here to take care of Tisha and when you see that the purpose that God saved Kathy was so that she can stand in the gap and intercede for Tisha oh God what am I saying because you don't know why God got you saved you're somebody's lifeline oh come on somebody come on somebody oh my God streets. I'm talking about my sister was down to skin and bones. I'm talking about when we did what I did want to see her. We had to go to the gutter. She would be laying behind garbage cans and eating out of garbage cans. When I look at what the Lord has done for my sister. Honey, listen, let me tell you something. I ain't got to preach today. I can praise God all day long. I can magnify God. Because the devil says 
she was going to die in the streets. The devil said she wasn't going to make it. But thanks be to God who's given us the victory and calls us to triumph. I'm talking about a miracle worker. I'm talking about why she was out there on crack. A serial killer had gotten loose in Chicago. He had killed 17 women. He got my sister, had her t- uh, tied up, getting ready to kill her. But God made a way for her to escape. Oh, you don't understand what I'm saying. Oh, my God. He had almost beat her to death. He had her tied up with barbed wire in the basement, getting ready to slit her throat. And oh, l- l- watch this. She wasn't even saved. But the anointed came on her. And she began to speak in tongues as a crack addict. And he had to turn her loose. Because the prayers of the righteous are very much. She said, I don't know. She said, Nita, I don't know how I got loose. All I know, I was tied up with barbed wire. He had a special clamp. She said, but when I looked up, my foot slipped out of it. My hand slipped out of it. And he went to turn his back, and I took off running. And they caught him a week later. He had killed 17 women. He had sliced their throat. But how many know that when you pray for your loved ones, the blood of Jesus, he has to cover them. And what the devil thought he was going to do, he won't be able to do it. Touch three people and say, you better grab a hold to some faith. On your way down, if they tell three people, it ain't over until God says it's over. Tell them, it ain't over until God says it's over. Turn around and tell somebody, I don't care how bad it looks. Tell them, I don't care how bad it looks. I'm prophesying this today. I don't care how bad it looks. God said, it ain't over until I say it's over. And God said, I'm going to blow your mind. I hear the Lord said, I'm about to do exceedingly. Abundantly above all you can ask or think. I just need somebody in here to grab a hold of some faith. And begin to praise me for your brother. Begin to praise me for your sister. Begin to praise me for your daughter. Begin to praise me for your son. To the utmost he saves. From the guttermost he saves. God is a deliverer. My God, my God, I feel the Holy Ghost in here today. Oh, y'all, y'all, y'all sit down. I just want to read one scripture today. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. for this man sitting right here. I thank God every day that Pastor Boyd had that stroke because I've seen what God can do. You don't know how many times we've been able to hold on to God because we look at him and we said if God can do it for our pastor, he can show enough do it for us. Oh, somebody come on, praise God. I thank God for you, Pastor. I thank God for you. Thank God because he's a man of faith. I thank God for all the faith clinics that we used to attend. And then you're looking at, I'm telling y'all, the listen, the proof is in the pudding. I don't care what y'all say, I said the proof is in the pudding. I remember the day that pastor was preaching that Sunday. That Monday morning, he began to talk about grabbing hold to faith and deliverance. And I said, God, enough is enough. And that next day, I called Chicago and I told my mother to them, I said, go and get Kathy. I said, because God said, today she comes out. And my mother said, God said, today. I said, God said, today. I said, go find her wherever she is because God said today is her day for deliverance. And they went and found her and put her on the plane. And I'm telling you, God broke the shackle. He broke the shackle off of her life and she ain't been back in the streets. I thank God for Pastor Boyd's ministry. You looking at Dr. Wilson sitting there in evangelist all over this country was a crack at a good God delivered right here in this ministry. Come on, you better give God some praise. Oh, talk is cheap. But I'm talking about a house that has a real anointed in it. Somebody give God. Y'all. 
three X crack addicts. Three X crack addicts. Saved and sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost and on fire for God. Don't tell me what God can't do. Somebody better give God a shout at him. deliver you're looking at deliverance right there while you look at them just grab a hold to faith see your see your sister shouting get a vision of your brother shouting get a vision of your loved ones that's trapped in whatever kind of bondage they're in i want you to get a vision for about 30 seconds of your loved ones praising god and then i want you to begin to bless god for them and watch and see what happens watch and see what happens you think i'm playing watch and see what happens that thing for somebody in here I feel it somebody's daughter is being set free somebody's sister is being delivered y'all don't understand how this thing works it works in the spirit realm first somebody's child is being delivered somebody's uncle somebody's aunt somebody's sister somebody's cousin oh God he's breaking free from drugs today I feel it he's delivering from drugs today I feel it he's delivering from drugs today I feel it Jesus! Let me read this scripture right quick so we can, so we can pray. delivering from drugs today. Dr. Wilson, I don't mean to impose upon you, but I feel this thing. He delivering from drugs today. Oh, you supposed to pray today, not me. He delivering from drugs today. He breaking addictions today. Jesus! Come on, Dr. Wilson, he breaking... He breaking, he breaking addictions today. Oh, Jesus. Woo. I want to read the scripture. But God said when she get through praying in 48 hours, you're going to get news that he's broken addiction. In 48 hours, I, all, all, I, all I need today, all I need today is three people to believe this prayer. Three people to believe this prayer. He said, in 48 hours, you're going to hear testimony that God has delivered from the spirit of addictions. Come on, everybody in this place, begin to give God a praise for your loved ones. Glory. Hallelujah. Won't we bless your name? There's no deliverer like I will deliver Christ Jesus. Father, we come in the name of your son Jesus Christ we stand in the authority of the great name of the Lord Jesus Christ we bless your name we acknowledge you we confess Lord we praise you are the mighty deliverer Lord there's no valley that's not too low that you cannot go to God oh Lord we pray for deliverance today in the name of Jesus yeah Lord you are help destroy God you are crack saving God yes you are we bless your name oh Lord go down deep God go down the alleyway God get that mama's daughter God in the name of Jesus oh, oh God we dispatch your angels now in the name of Jesus 
Jesus. Oh, holy I see. Yes, Lord, glory to God. Go down, Lord. Go down to the alleyways, Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Go into the hospital, Lord. And deliver God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. We stand in the authority, God, of the Lord Jesus Christ. We stand in the authority of the name of Jesus Christ. You said if we ask anything in your name, you would do it, God. We stand in the confidence of the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We stand in the confidence that you have made us priests. Oh, God, like, Lord, oh, yes, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We stand as intercessors, God. We stand in our rightful place, God. We declare with boldness. We don't beg the devil. We command the devil. Loose your hole. You got to loose your hole now. You got to loose your hole. Loose your hole now. In the name of Jesus. We break that spell. We break that habit. Homo Shadabah. We come against the spirit of alcoholism. We come against the spirit of drugs in the name of Jesus. Oh God, deliver that prostitute right now. In the name of the Lord. Go in that prison house and deliver that drug dealer. In the name of Jesus. Go on that street corner and shake him up right now shake him up right now wake him up God in the name of Jesus oh come on somebody put your hands together and give him the praise in the name of the Lord yes Lord yeah yes Lord we know you're able we know you're going to deliver yeah yeah somebody say that somebody say yeah oh Moshe how did you say devil we cast you out in the name of God you got to go now in the name of her. You got to get your hands on that girl. You got to get your hands on that boy. Loose your hoe. Oh, Lord. Loose that man. Oh, Lord. Loose that woman. Oh, Lord. Loose that girl. Oh, Lord. Loose that boy. In the name of Jesus. Somebody say in the name of Jesus. There is no name that's high. We got the authority in the name of Jesus. We got the authority. We got the right to use that name. Come on and use that name. There's deliverance in that name. Yes, Lord. We take that yoke. We plead the blood. We plead the blood. Come on, plead the blood. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. We plead the blood for that girl. She's about to die. We plead the blood. The blood is against you. The blood is our covering. The blood is our plea. The blood, the blood. Somebody plead the blood. The blood of Jesus. Somebody say the blood. The blood of Jesus of my child. The blood of Jesus of my brother. The blood of Jesus of my sister. The blood of Jesus. There's some girl you praying for your mama. Say that mama in the name of Jesus. Put a yes in her belly. Put a yes in her belly. Go down now. Yes, Lord. Go to that prison house. Put a yes, Lord. Put a yes, Lord. Go down deep and put a yes, Lord. We drive the devil out. We drive them out in the name of Jesus. But come on, somebody. Bleed the blood. Bleed the blood. Bleed the blood. The blood blood is against you. We bleed the blood. Our faith is in the blood. Our praise is in the blood. Hope for shot. Yeah, Lord. Come on, tell him yes. Come on, tell him yes. Say yeah. Say yeah. Say yeah. I see that man. He's coming out. I see that father. He's coming out. I see that husband. He's coming out. I see that daughter. I see that mother. I see that sister. Come on, praise him. Come on and praise him. Come on and praise him. Come on and praise him. That yoke is the shorter. That yoke is heavier. It's tough. It's broken. It's broken. Come on, break it. It's broken. In the name of Jesus. Yeah, Lord. Say it. Come on and say it. Come on and praise him. Come on and bless him. Come on and bless him. Hoboshia. That's a back door. Hoboshia. Yeah, Lord. We call. Yeah, Lord. We pull down every stronghold. Every
every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God. We pull it down in the name of Jesus. For the weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal, but they're mighty. They're mighty to God. Oh, come on, somebody. Use your mighty weapons. Oh, come on here. We don't come. We don't come with guns. We don't come with knives. We come in the name of the Lord. We come pleading the blood. Come on, pull down in the spirit. Come on, pray. You got your weapon. It's coming down. It's coming down. That thing that seemed too high. It's coming down. with those drugs but right now we command the devil to lose our mind we cast out all those demons that schizophrenic demon that paranoid demon that suicide demon we cast it out in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ come out come out of her now lose her now give her pride let us say thank you Give all thank you, Jesus, right now, in that room. Get that girl back on mine. Give that woman back on mine. That woman that lost her children. But to come, Lord, put her family back. Put it back together. Yeah, Lord, you'll save her. You have to live her. We will turn our children back into our hands. Somebody say yes. In the name of Jesus, that home is being healed. That marriage is being healed. Yeah, Lord. Yeah, Lord. Yeah, Lord. We bless you. We thank you. Come on, thank you. Come on, thank you. Yokes are being destroyed. Yeah, Lord. That crack demon. Yeah. It's bowing down to the name of Jesus. That alcoholic demon is bowing down to the name of Jesus. That power, that tobacco demon is bowing down to the name of Jesus. That pornography demon is coming down. It's bowing down. It's trembling. It's losing its grip. It's losing its hold. Come on and bless him. Come on and bless him. There's no deliverer like our deliverer. We're on the winning side. We're on the winning side. Say it! Come on and say it! 
still victory. Yes, in the building. Kill on. The power of God is in the city. The power of God is going to the island. It's going to Trinidad. It's going to Jamaica. Come on, somebody. It's going to Guyana. I see the power of God going across the water. Somebody say, Lord, this is my brother. He's in the island. The power of God is going to Haiti. The power of God is going to Europe. The power of God is going to Canada. Fire of Ashaya. Yay! He's delivering in the islands right now. He's saving your alcoholic relative. I see the young being destroyed. Come on, praise him. Thus saith the Lord, the angel on a sign. And while you're sleeping, tell me working. Oh, come on, praise him. Yeah, that spirit has been brought under siege. We have siege. The spirit of addiction is under siege. I hear God say, it's under siege. It can't go no further. It's been arrested through the power of prayer in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. By through the power of his shadow. Come on, confess. Lord, that spirit has been seized. It's prisoner. I'm looking in the spirit. I see a great big giant. It got shackles on his feet. It got shackles on his hands. Those claws are trying up. Holy the Oshaya. Come on here. The more you believe God, the more you praise God, the more you bless him there. Hallelujah. And here in the spirit world, that spirit is saying, let me go. But saying, no, we're not going to let you go. You are the siege. You are captive. Part of our Shia, we stand as kings. We stand as priests. We will never let you go. We will never let you go. We will not let you go. Say it! Say it! Oh, bless your name! I see God in California. I see God in Alabama. I hope I saw all across this land. God said, don't worry about it. Heart of us are your prayer. That's being answered. Oh, bless his name. Come on, praise him. God, go do your family members like he did me, like he did us. I walked up to the crack dealer, didn't even realize I had been set free. I said, give me two dime vows of crack, but all it had left my body. I said, wait a minute, give me back my money. The crack dealer said, you don't want it. He was surprised because I was so bad off. The crack dealers started telling me go back to church. You know you messed up when the crack dealers go to witness it to you. I don't hear nobody. I said I don't want it anymore. I walked away to live it. God saved me in the gutters where I was. Where I wanted to die. God said no. You shall live to see the salvation of the Lord. That was 15 years ago. Come on, he who the sun set free is free indeed. It was prayer that brought me over. It was prayer that brought me over. Just a handful of folk praying for my deliverance. How much more would all these thousands of folk 
Some we don't even know gonna be set free by the power of God. Come on, praise. Oh, come on, somebody praise him. Oh, come on, somebody praise him. Say yes. Come on, somebody get him the praise. Jesus. I feel a deliverance in here. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody been set free. Somebody been delivered. Somebody been restored. Somebody been delivered. Say yes. You can write down today's date that God has delivered today. God has set free today. God has given us a breakthrough today. Somebody give it glory. Somebody give it glory. Somebody give it glory. Just read this one scripture if you can take your seats for five minutes. For five minutes. Ooh, I gotta leave this with you. Thank you, Jesus. Woo. They come in the prayer. They come in the prayer delivered. They come in the prayer set free. Ooh. The addiction has been broken. Ooh. Oh, I'm going to speak it. I'm going to speak it because I see it. AIDS is going in reverse. HIV is going in reverse. Somebody, somebody in here. Somebody here just help me praise God for a minute because I, hit, I just heard the Holy Ghost say that as we begin to praise God, it's going to be like a thermometer. The immune system is coming up. He said it's going to be like a thermometer. Yeah, 
immune system is going up. The cells are being renewed. The cells are being restored. All of us are still alive. All of us think alive. All of us still alive. All of us think alive. All of us are still alive. All of us are still alive. All of us think alive. All of us are still 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 alive. Somebody in here today, somebody in your family, it's dying of cancer, but God said I'm reversing it today. He did not cause such a trauma. I'm not a master. He did not cause I. I'm healing now. 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 Oh, he did not. I send it back. Oh God, I pray for Bertha that's in Atlanta Hospital that the doctor done gave her up. I pray for her now. Send your power over in Atlanta. Reverse the case in the name of Jesus. Reverse it now. Try it up. Give her a second chance. Give her another chance in the name of Jesus. I pray that the enemy be bound on every hand. I bind you in the mind. I bind you in the body. I bind you in the spirit. I speak to your body. I command God to turn it around. Get up out of that bed. Claim your healing in the name of Jesus. All of our cups. All of our cups. All of our And God, while we own the case, while you're calling us to purify the body, I bless your name and I speak to the spirit of cancer that's lost and can't be ruined. I call you up now. I try you up now. And let the chemo make us sick because the body don't need it. I speak healing now. I speak a speedy recovery. I send the power in her breast now. I send the power to dry it up and give her a miracle. I send the power. I send the power. I send the power. I send the power. The Baltimore Maryland heal by your power. Set free by your power. Deliver by your power. Somebody give him a shout in here.
that's sick. Anybody that's sick, get in that middle aisle. Hold on, I'm Hold on, I'm Hallelujah. Stay in that side of the aisle right there. Stay right there if you can't go no further. Stay in that aisle. Stay in that aisle. Hallelujah. 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 Let me tell you something. You are about to be healed now. God, I wish I had somebody to receive that. I didn't say later. I said right now. Right this minute. When I get through praying, the symptoms are drying up. You're going to be able to do something that you weren't able to do. You're going to look for the lump and it's going to be gone. You're going to look for the thing and it's going to be gone. Because God said healing is in here today. Deliverance is in here today. Hold on, Come on, get your hands up. 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 Hold on, Abakashaya. Hold on, Abakashaya. Keep it alone. Hold on, Abakashaya. Oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus, by the authority. that you have invested in us today. I return back from the third realm and I break every yoke of sickness on God's property and by the power of your blood I speak healing in this house from the front of the church to the back of the door I speak healing over everybody in this place I decree it to be so I drive out the hand of the enemy I declare it to be so today Create to be so now. Claim your healing now because by his stripes you are healed. Begin to give him a shout because the Lord has healed your heart. There it is. 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 Speaking tongues, you just praise it for your healing. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Come on, receive it. High blood pressure is going. You get another one in my shop. Somebody's being healed from sugar. Somebody's being healed from sugar diabetes. Somebody's being healed from sugar diabetes. Somebody's being healed from a heart condition. 
I have metal plates and rods in my body. I don't feel no pain. The pain was so bad, I couldn't take the pain. I'm not in no pain right now, God Jesus. Y'all better praise God! You better praise God! You don't have to help her praise God. I'll 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 help her praise God. My God. You better praise Him. Because why are you praising God? I'm telling you, healing is happening in this place today. What's your name? Althea Wallace. What's your testimony? What happened to you? For, ten, for over 10 years, I've been in and out of the mental hospital, the psychiatric ward and G building, to be in torment, be like a prisoner. We want to be free and can't be free. They say I have mental illness, schizophrenic, and I'm taking the medication. The doctor say I have to take it for the rest of my life. What happened to you today? I am free, Jesus! Somebody give God a praise. Somebody give God a praise. How? Somebody give God a praise. Get out of the way. What happened to you? What's your name? My name is Karen Whedon. And the week before Tisha got sick, I had got sick with the same disease. I have lupus and I couldn't breathe. And I am an intercessor. And I went to church Saturday. I opened up Saturday morning prayer. And I couldn't, I couldn't breathe. I couldn't breathe. And I went into church and I laid. I said, oh, you're in trouble today, Satan. You was in trouble. And one girl came in and God told me to give her a word. And I was whispering. I said, God said, and God said this. And then my intercessor prayer partner came in. And she looked at me. And she said, oh, God, she's sick. And they start interceding for me just the way you interceded for her. And I should have been in the hospital, Tisha. I couldn't hardly breathe. I couldn't walk. My very muscles hurt it. But they got done interceding for me. And on the seventh day was that Tuesday when I came here for the first time and lost my mind. But I started getting sick all over again when I came down here. And I said, oh, God, help me. And you start praying for the immune system because that's what it attacks. And God began to heal my body as I stand here. And I thank you. And I had a big old scab on my body. And I saw it drop off as I was standing in the line. And I just want to thank the Lord. I am an innocent. Come on, somebody give God a praise. Come on, somebody praise God for this woman. What's your name? My name is Maria Diaz, and I've been suffering from a uh, problem with my desk, and it's been affecting my, my leg totally, and I'm having an intense pain. And, and the pain is gone. The pain is totally gone, but also when you mention so God is, 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 is healing uh, liver disease, and, and I just, just went all over the floor, I know that God touched me. So you, you, you came in here today with, 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 with a, a lower back pain and a leg pain. Right, right, very intense over here. Very intense, I can't like when I sit, you know, for quite a while, it's, it's like really bothering, really. And where's the pain now? Uh, it's gone. Come on, somebody give God a praise. Somebody give God a praise. Somebody give God a praise. Glory to God. Come, come here, come here, baby. Yes, my name is Sister Lorene Felix. As soon as I came in, as soon as I came in, I felt the power of the Holy Ghost and I started shaking. And it said, in the name of God and Jesus Christ, I command you. I command you to go. And when I started, I felt like everything was coming out of my body. And I felt I was so free. I don't know what it was attached on me, but it was so powerful. I felt it. I am free. Oh, somebody help her praise God. Somebody help her praise God. Come on, honey. Yes, Lord. What's your name? Oh, she come on. Emilio. My name is Emilio. Uh, God set me free from cocaine. And I was on cocaine for a lot of years, and I kept going back. 
but this time I went back, I got really sick. My nerves, my inside of me, I couldn't stay still. My pastor said, what's wrong with you? I couldn't stay still. I would try to stay still, but inside of me, my nerves. And, 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 and right now, I just felt the spirit of God just come all over me. And, and, and look, I just feel like inside of me is not, not shaking anymore. And, and, and not only that, but my spirit, my soul, the, the tongues and more. It's just, I feel so, sh like in me, something happened. And I'm just so grateful. Thank you. Oh, somebody, come on. Come on, somebody. Come on, you want to help him? Praise God. He said the shaking is gone. Oh, come on, somebody help him? Praise God. Oh, my God, my God. What's your name? My name is Sister Dawn. I, what happened to you today? I had pains in my back, Lord. And he just gave me experience just now, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. I felt the Holy Spirit, Lord God. And it just left me. His back pain has just left me. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And there's no more back pain? No pain there. Yeah. I was tired. I said I wish I could sit down. I didn't, I got to stand up and praise him, but I wanted to sit down. And I don't want to sit down no more. Come on, somebody help her praise God. Somebody help her praise God. Somebody help her praise God. I'm telling you there's healing in this house. You better reach up and claim it. You better reach up and claim it. There's healing in this house. You better reach up and claim it for your loved ones. You better reach up and claim it for somebody that's not here. There's healing in this house. Oh, no, 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 no. What's your name? I'm Shirley, Shirley Patrick. What happened to you today? I have a numbness in my leg and a cramp go all the way down in here. And I can't stand up too long. And I said, I'll never tell anybody because I'm not going to claim it because Jesus is my healer. And I stood up over there. And when you said, come on in the aisle, I come out. And I said, Lord Jesus, don't pass me by today. Lord, please don't pass me by. And then the pain was so severe in my leg. And when I go like this, I didn't feel it anymore. And I go like this and it's not there anymore. And I touch my knee, it's not there anymore. It's gone. Somebody come on help her, praise God. Somebody help her, praise God. I'm telling you, the Lord, the Lord began to prophesy that to me a couple of weeks ago, that the ministry that he's given me is taking a turn into its final destination, which is the healing ministry. And I'm telling you, there's healing in this house today. I said there's healing in this house today. I feel it greater than I've ever felt it in my life. That whatever it is you've got, it is gone now. You better give God a praise. You better give God a praise. It's gone. Hold on, I'm shy. Somebody else. Oh, God. What's your name? Dorothy Foot. What happened to you today? I have a serious pain in my left hip. Sciatic nerve, my lap goes down, I can't sit too long on it. And then I got up and I stood over there to praise God. It started to go oh, away. On, it started to go away. And it's not totally gone yet, but I'm believing. I'm standing under the anointed of God, believing. I've been told that because of emotional hurts, that's why I have so many illnesses in my body. But I'm believing God. I'm delivered today. Come on, somebody give him a praise. Somebody give him a praise. Somebody give him a praise. Oh, somebody else. Somebody else. Yes, Lord. What's your name, baby? My name is Sherry. What, ha what happened to you today? Um, I'm a college student. I'm from New York, but I went to school. Talk up a little bit. I went to school in Florida, and this past February, I was fainting six, seven times a day. And I didn't know what was going on. I was far away from my family. And I went to the hospital, and the doctors told me that they found something in my urine, and they couldn't, just, they couldn't find out what it was. They said that they found something on my brain. They said that my heart was too large for my body. Then they sent me away, and they told me to see some specialists, but I couldn't see any specialists because they were all up in New York. And I didn't know what was going on with me. 
And just a couple of minutes ago in the service, I was feeling faint again. And I said, Lord, what's going on? And he said, you know, this is the last time you're going to feel like that. And I said, God. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, somebody help her praise. I stand on him. I, the, the Bible says we're overcome by the word of our testimony, and I'm just going to give God all the glory, man. Come on, somebody, give him a praise. Come on, one more. What's your name? Sister Harris. What happened to you today, Sister Harris? Well, a couple of, about three years ago, I was hit by a tow truck. And I could not walk. I was on crutches and cane and everything. Then I started coming to your prayer and listening to you. And then they wanted to do surgery on my knee because they said I couldn't go without. But then I had the problem with my lungs and they couldn't operate. But every morning I would get up or whatever I do, I would still have the pains in my knees. No matter what I do, I still had the pain. When I got out of bed this morning to come, I always remember you say, press your way here. If you get here, there's a blessing, right? And I know I just had to get here this morning. And as I was up there, when I sat down, there was pain. But when you say what you did, I just touched my body and everything's just gone. I don't feel the pain. And it's like I can breathe a little bit. I can shout. I say, oh, you want to praise God? Come on, somebody help this woman praise God. You better help this woman praise God. Testimonies. Three more. What's your name? Stephanie. When I was 16 years old, I started having seizure disorder. When I was 16 years old, I was having seizure disorder, and they didn't know why. And they found at the age of 21 that I had an aneurysm. So for like five years, I was walking around with an aneurysm, which we know if it busts, you hemorrhage to death. But I thank God because. A couple of weeks ago, I stopped taking the medicine because they said I would be on the medicine for the rest of my life after I had the surgery. But I know God healed me today when I was standing back there. I didn't move when you said if God gave you a testimony. I stood there and the Lord said, don't you remember I healed you? And I just kept holding you. Yes, God, I'm not on any type of medication today. And I know it was God. And I know it was God. And I know it was. Come on, somebody give them the praise in here. Oh, God is a healer. He's a healer. Come here. Well, who is this? What happened? Tell me what. Who is this? She's gonna tell a testimony of a prophet. She can barely stand up when she when you called that healing line. She was standing over there in pain. Tell them the Lord did. A couple of months ago, Please. I hurt my leg. I was running with my daughter and I dislocated my knee and I was in so much pain. And when I came here this morning, my asthma was acting up. I couldn't breathe ever since you prayed for Tisha. And I, my girlfriend kept telling me all week, she said, you need to go to the doctors because you know it could turn into pneumonia. And I said, God, I don't receive that because if you can heal cancer, you can heal this. And you can heal my knee too, God. You can make me walk again. And I can bend my knee and I couldn't do it. But I could do it and I have no pain. I thank God. Oh, come on, you better praise God. She shouted, she can barely walk in here. And now she's dancing. You better give God some praise. 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 You better give God some shall be healed. Somebody say on Tuesday morning, sick body shall be healed. Sick body 
shall be healed. Sick body shall be healed. Sick body shall be healed. Oh my God. She could barely walk in here. Can barely walk in here. And now she's shouting. That woman can barely walk in here. That woman can barely breathe and now she's breathing. Oh, y'all ain't saying nothing. God had me to call out a hip condition when I was praying. Oh, come on here, somebody. That other woman could barely walk in here, but now she's walking. You better give God some praise. You better give God some praise. What am I saying? I'm saying that God is healing your loved one. Why are you standing in here? God is sending the power. We go here and test them all this. What happened? What's your name? My name is Elsa. I'm standing in proxy for my mother. The doctor gave her up for cancer. She's dying from cancer. And I believe tonight she is healed. I've been kept coming here for over a month. And the doctor gave her up. Everybody in this place. I said God was sending it in reverse. Somebody come on. Begin to give God a shout for this woman's mother. Come on. Give him a shout for her mother. One more testimony. What's your name? Tyrone Hooper. What did God do for you today? High blood pressure. It was like 180 over 190. I worked at the hospital and it said, the nurses got so upset with me, it was so high, they said I could catch a stroke. I've been coming here since February. And I just went to the doctor like two weeks ago. He's bleed. The doctor said uh, the cholesterol is a little bit too high. I have to watch myself. Or I get a heart disease, but I'm believing God. I'm standing on His word that I'm healed today. Come on, somebody give Him a praise. Somebody give Him a praise. I'm telling you, there's an anointing in this building right now. And if you know somebody that's sick, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. If you know somebody that's sick, 15 seconds, 15 seconds, just like what God said when he said, let's clear Tisha's lungs out. The Lord has given us a speed shot for healing. If you're in this building today and you know somebody that's sick, take 15 seconds and get them healed. See y'all, y'all faith ain't where my faith is. Your faith must not be where my faith is. I said take 15 seconds and get them healed. I said take 15 seconds and the prayer of faith shall heal the sick. Send it to Atlanta, God. Send it to Atlanta, God. While he's 
sleeping this morning. Let him wake up refreshed. Let him wake up healed. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh, y'all, God is doing something for Pastor Simmons. I feel it. You may not know who he is, but somebody begin to worship him. He's doing something for him. I feel it. I feel it. Somebody help me worship God for the man of God. He's doing something. He's doing something for his body today. Ooh. Oh. Oh, I'm going to call him. I'm going to call him this morning. I know God's doing something for him. I feel it. I'm going to call him. I feel it. My God. Like a wind just came down on my head, on my feet. But God just did something for him. Somebody come on and praise God. Arise, oh Lord. Demonstrate your power. Somebody come on and worship him. Somebody worship him. Come on, praise him. Come on, everybody, sing it. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord.
Upstairs and get that sheet. Just uh, stand right here for a few minutes. Honey. Hallelujah. God said your struggle is over. God said you stood the test. The Spirit of the Lord said offers were made and you turned them down because you wanted to be saved for real. Oh my God. The Lord said he's turning it around for you today, honey. He's turning your financial situation around today. He's opening new doors for you. 30 days, God's going to begin to open doors for you. Your struggle is over. You've been in the fire. You've been in the fire and didn't nobody know it. God, I see you. I see your struggle. I see your struggle in the midnight hour. I see your press even coming to prayer. I see that these Tuesday morning prayers have been an eternal lifeline for you. I see that if it hadn't been for the prayer, you would have been one back into the streets. But God said your struggle is over. Your struggle is over. Yes, Lord, I hear you. I hear you, God. I hear you, God. Oh, hurry up, saints. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up. Pick up the step. Pick up the step. There's something I got to do. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. To heal your disease, I sent my word to heal your disease. I sent my word to heal your disease. 
they singing I need some people in here I picked up her burden she got saved under the tent and with pastor's permission today I feel her burden and I need some people in here that would bring a five dollar seed a ten dollar seed because God said that we need to sow into this girl today I don't even know her but I feel the enemy and God said she needs some help I need some people to come now on this side of the altar deacons come on pick this offering up pick this offering up get some buckets hold on a minute pick the prayer seat offering up pick the prayer seat offering up thank you Jesus Somebody that was so into her life because God said this is good ground. I don't even know this girl. If you bring in your prayer seed, put it here. If you bring in your prayer seed, put it here. If you bring in your prayer seed, put it here. Your prayer seed is over here. Thank you, Jesus. Sit right here. God said He gonna provide. He said you ain't gotta go back into the world and get nothing. He gonna meet your every need. prayer seat is over here you're bringing your prayer seat is over here you're bringing your prayer seat is over here I don't know that she's missed a prayer since we started this prayer but I see what kind of clothes she wore to prayer I know she needs some help The Lord said we're the sower to her. I don't care if you ain't got but a dollar. I don't care if you ain't got but two dollars. I don't care if you ain't got but 50 cents. I'm telling you, this is good ground. Oh, come on, somebody. 
God said, how can you say you love me? When you know somebody got a need and you don't help them. Because she can't Jesus. Oh, sing it, praise team. I'm right, oh Lord. And demonstrate your power. Oh, Jesus. Power. Oh, you can stay right where you was. You can stay right where you was. Whatever you were singing, that's powerful. I sent my word to heal your disease. I sent my word. Your disease. I sent my word to heal your disease. Yeah. I sent my word to heal your disease. I sent my word to heal your disease. Thank you, Jesus. I sent my word to heal your disease. Thank you, Lord. I sent my word. Heal your disease. Thank you, Jesus. I sent my word. Heal your disease. Heal your disease. Of every habit. I sent my word. Oh, heal your disease. Oh, this is your hymn. This is your day. Oh, come on, somebody worship God. This is your hour. Heal your disease. Somebody worship God. Keep the center aisle clear. Don't nobody else come down the center aisle. Go that way. Go through the aisles. Go through the seats. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Pick up the prayer seat off it. Pick it up. Pick it up. Oh, I've been set free by the power of Jesus. Your prayer seat offering comes here. Your prayer seat offering comes here. Brother Michael, stand with the bucket over there. You giving your prayer seat? Come here. Brother Michael. Stand up here. Over there in that corner. You give him your prayer seat. Come here. You sow into this young woman. Put it right here on the altar. Put it right here on the altar. Put it right here on the altar. And go down the middle aisle. I don't know why God told us to do this, but he did. Put it right down here on the altar. And go down the center aisle. I'm here. Yes, Lord, I thank you. What's two dollars? What's five dollars? What's three dollars? What's seven dollars? What's ten dollars? From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Oh, we need your I send my word on today to heal all of your diseases. Every habit. What's fifty cents? Oh, God, oh God has never led me to do this since we've been having this prayer he's never led me to do this there's a reason there's a reason there's a reason I sent my word and I sent my word Same. Oh, no, no, no. I sent my word on today. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, this is the day the Lord has made. Thank you, God. How can we say we love God? God's about to do something in her life. I remember when she came to the tent about two, three years ago, about two years ago now. I remember when she came to the tent, the night she got saved. She owned a pink little suit, skirt way up here. Didn't know nothing about church, but God did it. And been coming to church ever since. So you better give God some praise. I thank God for the tent. I don't know that she's missed a prayer since we started this prayer. I'm telling y'all, God is picking people up out the streets. Who tell somebody he's a saving God. He's a delivering God. About a year later, she walked up to me. She said, do you remember me? 
I said, no, she said, I was a young lady that got saved under the tent. And I'm healed. Oh, God is a good God. And I'm healed. I'm Thank you, Jesus. I'm healed. I'm healed. I've been delivered. Oh, I won't be oh, the God. same. Oh, 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 God. And I said, my word, don't turn it up in. Oh, when you get back home, Thank you, Jesus. it won't be the same. God, I praise you. Oh, when you get back to your job, it won't be the same. If you were here and I sent my word, a oh, woman, man, boy, and girl. God want to get some clothes. God want to provide. You're yes, Lord. Lord. John, John, come pick this up and take it over there. Just keep moving over there. Just keep moving over there. Pick this up and take it over there. Help him, Renee. And I send my word. Hey, I send my word. Hey, and I send my word. And I send my word. And I send my word. I send my word. Thank you, Jesus. You can be healed. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, you can be delivered. Oh, you can be set free. And I send my word. Brother Deacon, can I get you to help me count this over here? Can I get you to get some help? Can you get some help? You get somebody to help you. Don't forget to get your prayer tapes. How many people been getting their prayer tapes? How many people been getting? Don't forget to get your prayer tapes. Don't forget to get your series somebody look at somebody and say obedience is better than sacrifice tell somebody obedience is better than sacrifice tell your neighbor if you haven't gotten your prayer album you need to get it you need to get this series that we've been teaching last week we talked about interceding and becoming an intercessor you need to get these last four weeks of tapes talking about the tabernacle you don't need to miss it I want you all to give the people we got about 700 people next door in the overflow room give them a hand we got people upstairs in the classrooms because they couldn't fit in the overflow room give them a hand that's upstairs in the classrooms oh come on somebody give them a hand clap We got people from all over. How many people here came from out of town? You flew in from out of town, you drove in from out of town. Everybody sit down, sit down in the audience. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Everybody that came in from out of town for the prayer, please stand. Oh my God. Are, are you all a group of people that came together? S somebody come up here and tell me where you from, who? I need some help. Where did you all come from? We're from Dover, New Jersey. You prayed for our pastor and gave us a prayer sheet for him, and he is doing wonderfully well. Oh, come on, somebody. Is this the pastor that was sick? Oh, come on, somebody. Give God a praise. Oh, God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, I remember that. Hallelujah. As a matter of fact, all of, all of you, all, all of you all together, uh, people right here on the front row, wh where are y'all from? Pennsylvania. Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Uh, all of y'all just come here. Harrisburg, Pennsylvania people. 
Y'all people right there from New Jersey. Come here, all of y'all, come here. Just, just line up right there. Not you, you a veteran. You ain't no visitor no more. You stay right there, stay right there, stay right there, stay right there. Stay right there, stay right there. Oh, all of you all that came from New Jersey. Where's my New Jersey people that came from New Jersey? Raise your hand, raise your hand. Raise your hand. Oh, bless the Lord, bless the Lord. Come on, y'all to give God a hand praise for them. This is a whole, a part of a church that's come, their pastor was sick. And we sent handkerchiefs and prayer back to the pastor and he's doing, I'm telling you, I'm excited about God. Oh, well, before we leave out of here today, I just need about 30 people to just pray my strength while I pray for these people and lay hands on them. I can't let them come this far and not pray for them. Come on, somebody. Come on, praise team of y'all mind helping me. Demonstrate your power.
Come on, somebody lift your hands up in the building. Yes, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord Jesus. for the next seven days. Yeah. Matter of fact, for the next yeah. ten days.